My name is Bruce Schneider. I am the B Instrumental Coordinator. I also work with all the district's uh, music and stu teachers and students. My name is Kenny Woods. Uh, I am the band director at Wayne High School and I've been here, this is my eighth year. Hi, my name is Colleen Phillips. I am the band and orchestra director at Lane Middle School. My name is Ryan Thompson. I am one of the instrumental music directors at Memorial Park Middle School. My name is Jeff Amstutz and I am a band director here at Lakeside Middle School. My name is Teresa Stahoski and I've been teaching for Fort Wayne Community Schools for eight years now. I've been at Lakeside Middle School for six of those. Every school district teaches the basics, English, math, social studies, and science. It's the quality of the specialty programs that really draw and attract students and actually retain those students. Athletics and performing arts are the most visible of those activities and, and programs. Here at FWCS, we strive to continue to build a strong, diverse performing arts course and co-curricular offerings that allow the students to be drawn to these programs and be more engaged in their education. I don't know that there's a way to ever overstate the positive outcomes that our students experience as part of our music programs at Fort Wayne Community Schools. Uh, we have some of the finest programs with the uh, densest offerings of any district I've ever worked with uh, across the Midwest. Uh, our students are afforded opportunities that you just don't see other places and the results of which are numerous. I've seen kids who already come in at a high level academically and musically uh, they grow to become leaders in the band and in the school and kids recognize who they are through their talents. I've seen kids come in who couldn't read uh, their names off a piece of paper but then they learn how to read music and they learn how to express themselves through playing an instrument and they just grow into beautiful human beings. A lot of, a lot of students feel better about themselves, more positive and, and want to come to school because because they enjoy their music classes. Fort Wayne Community School students face a lot of challenges that some of our neighbor schools don't. Some of our schools down in Indy that we are still trying to compete with are not dealing with things that our students tackle daily. In some areas around the country, music and all of education kind of has an elitist feel, even in the public schools. Working in FWCS has tremendously changed the way that I approach education in general, the way I approach teaching music, and the way I approach building relationships with my students. Working in this district is very different from where I grew up and very different from other places I've taught. And it has opened my eyes to what students need, particularly of varied backgrounds and uh, varied levels of opportunity. The way it's changed my uh, thinking of teaching is when I first got out of college, I was all about having the best groups and having the best performance and you've got to have the, you know, the marching band that's going to, you know, state every year, gold one and all that stuff. And yes, it's, hot, it's important to have those high aspirations, but at the same token, I don't want to sacrifice the amount of students that I influence in music. As I've taught, I've realized that it's more important um, to get as many students, to influence more students into being a part of a music program and getting to experience that and then making sure they all have a good shot at being successful at it than, than just worrying about the accolades. So it's really great that in Fort Wayne Community Schools, there's more of a feeling if you want to be part of music, if you want to learn an instrument, we want to teach you. We want you to be part of this. We want you to be able to succeed and achieve. The biggest thing I've noticed is kids who have um, been floundering before they reach the music program. And in the music program, they find a place to belong, a place that feels like home for them. I really feel that music education is integral to every student's upbringing and educational journey not just because it's the subject I teach, but because music maps your brain in such an amazing way. Well, you know, physiologically, of course, music we know affects their brains. It creates more synapses, connections between one side of the brain and the other, allows them to think faster on their feet. Um, it allows them to bring together multiple subject areas 
into one area. Of a necessity in education, we teach everything compartmentalized. We teach math in this room and social studies in this room and music in this room. But music itself actually brings together all those subjects. When we're teaching music, they have to draw on historical perspective. They have to use their language arts to interpret text, to sing words in music to uh, write music and write songs. And that's the way we are in life. We have been doing social and emotional learning since the inception of music education. You learn so much by being in a music ensemble, by working with students who are not your best friends, your daily friends, and they're also not the people that you're randomly put into a small group. You are working on concepts, you're creating things, you're collaborating daily. And one of the greatest things with music is that you're inputting the knowledge and immediately turning around and using that knowledge. The BN Snow program has enhanced uh, the students for a couple of things. One, um, it's provided an instrument that is brand new that gives them a sense of pride for the student. I think it's been a hugely positive influence. I went through FWCS. I went to Nebraska Elementary School, Portage Middle School. I graduated from Elmhurst in 2007 and we didn't have anything like this while I was in high school. So I remember in order for me to get my own instrument, I live with a single mom and I know we had to go through some hardships in order for me to get my instrument. But with the Be Instrumental program, any kid who's in the same situation that I was in, now they have the opportunity to get a brand new instrument for themselves. No one else has played it, it's theirs for as long as they stay with the program. And that's, that's a giant, like it's, it's not something that can be quantified, but I, it is, a really big net positive. I think the biggest thing is for me here in this program is that there would not be the the ready supply of quality string instruments at Lakeside Middle School if it weren't for the B instrumental program. And I know because I grew up on this side of the town as well that getting an instrument is almost impossible. At, instruments cost anywhere from 500 to $2,000. And that's just too big of a hardship to put on people, especially like single parent households or uh, just whatever. We get kids from all different kinds of backgrounds and lifestyles and things like that. So it gives them the opportunity that they otherwise wouldn't have had. Again, when we talk about FWCS's goal of inclusion and equity and access to music for all students, it's hard to find a better example of that than the B Instrumental Program. Back when I was in school, some kids needed school instruments. And normally there was enough to handle those students. These days, most of our students don't have their own. And that ownership, that feel when they get that instrument. Our first year being involved in the B Instrumental Program was six years ago. We were on the second wave. And I still remember telling this little seventh grade girl that she was going to be able to have a violin all year and through the summer because she cried when she had to return her instrument as a sixth grader. Being able to take basses to some of our neighborhoods where that's not a reality. My own brother did not have his own bass until he was a senior in high school and that's only because he was going on in music education. But seeing a seventh grader, a sixth grader, having that bass in their house that they can then practice on, not the ratty one that we're not using in school and it's kind of half size and obviously decades of middle schoolers have been using it, it's theirs until their senior year, if, as long as they continue in music education. Much like the equitable access across the board for all students, the B Instrumental program has been remarkable for our program. We have a very high number of kids involved in the bands and in the orchestras. Many students who do both. Uh, there's no limit for these kids as to how many instruments they can obtain if they are putting in that work and if they're involved in all of those organizations. And uh, it's been incredible to have that barrier removed for kids, um, which is part of our job as educators, is to remove barriers for students, to allow for greater equity in all aspects of their educational experience. And the Be Instrumental program has been fantastic in helping us do that. When I hear stories about how music isn't supported in other schools or teachers have to fight tooth and nail to get like basic things that they need for the classroom, and then I look around at uh, how 
lucky I've been here at Wayne, and I just, I'm just very grateful for everything FWCS has done for the school in particular. It's great to see those kids go from hard workers to kids who really believe in themselves. My name is Rudy Reese, and I am a junior from Wayne High School. My mom always has this memory she likes to talk about, about how she would turn on music and she would put me on her, on her lap and uh, she would hold me by her arms. And as the music would go on, I would jump around and hop around and move my head onto the beat. And it's very interesting because uh, none of my family are musicians. So music is so more than just sounds and chords, but it's a way for musicians and for people to be able to keep on going day by day, to be able to influence, um, to be able to contribute to uh, humanity and to, um, to what we call life. And it's so beautiful to be able to manifest that and to be able to um, keep on going. If you want your kids engaged in school, if you want them to be academically successful, they should consider studying a music instrument and, or being part of a performing arts class. These kids excel at everything they do and are, are really set up for a great future life. You know, I can't count the number of times that a student or a parent has written to us, called us, dropped off a trinket just to say thank you for being a part of our child's life here in music. I want to say thank you for making the B. H. Miller program a possibility in our school district. The impacts just keep coming. The students who are playing these instruments, we're about to see our first senior year of B. H. Miller students. That's fantastic. I can't wait till we have our first B. Instrumental music education majors, performance majors, music industry majors. Be in music. It's fun. You're going to make a lot of friends. You're going to experience a lot of things you wouldn't otherwise. And if you just find the courage to put yourself out there, uh, you're going to have a great time. We give so many students a deep reason for wanting to be in the building every day. We know that our goal here at FWCS, and indeed at school districts across the country, is to make sure that our kids show up. That's one of the things we're trying to teach them, is show up. And we have so many students whose raison d'etre, that reason for being here, is music. And the support of FWCS, our administration, our board, our community, our parents, they're the ones who make it possible. They're the ones who've shown time and again that we will support you, that it matters to us, that it has value. It allows us to open those doors, literally and figuratively, to those kids who might not otherwise show up.